Now, I want to talk about Sophie, of course, the Duchess of Edinburgh. She really has become a prominent royal in, in recent weeks in particular. Uh, after the coronation concert, she was seen rocking away to Lionel Richie's all night long, and I think that there were some memes made about her. The public just love her. And, Russell, she's been touted as King Charles's secret weapon. Do you think that she is? Well, definitely. I mean, it's it's interesting with Sophie because when she was the Countess of Wessex and now Duchess of Edinburgh, yeah, a lot of people talking about the fact that she is popular. I mean, I've worked with her before. She's really passionate about the subjects that she discusses. We've seen her recently taking on big, big roles on behalf of the British government. You know, she was in Iraq just a few days ago. She's worked extensively in Africa, talking very, very eloquently and knowledgeably about uh, violence against women across the world. And uh, you know, whether she is the, the royal family's secret weapon, I think a lot of the work that she has done has gone under the radar. And that isn't necessarily a fault of her own. It's because you know, there's, there's a lot of roles to cover sometimes. And when there's been a lot of scandal and infighting, she is the person who just gets on with the job. She doesn't get involved in any of that. And I think that's when we're talking about a slim down monarchy, she's definitely going to be an asset. So moving forward, you know, people love seeing her getting up and dance at the coronation. That showed a different side to her. We certainly don't see that a lot of the royals. So I think that she's a, she definitely, not necessarily a secret weapon, but she can definitely be a, a force for good for the future for the family. Why do you think she's been so under the radar until now? Well, again, I think it's that you look at the last few years and there's definitely been a lot going on in Royal Land, hasn't there? Where we've had the unfortunate passing of the Queen, we've had the coronation, but wider, the wider scandal of the family in terms of Prince Andrew, that's taken up a lot of press coverage. The, the Harry and Meghan situation has seemed to rumble on for years now. And whenever you know they make a noise across the pond, then it gets picked up. And as I said, she's the person who sort of just gets on with the job. There's no airs and graces about it. She does the job uh, diligently. And uh, I'm sure the charities and organisations she works with are pretty appreciative of that fact as well. Just finally, uh, some pictures have emerged of Prince Andrew. He got stuck behind a dog walker as he was driving into <sighs> Windsor. We've uh, got some pictures of it. Uh, he looks like he's having the time of his life. He thought it was hilarious when this dog walker, Russell, she was just firmly focused on that walk. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, we don't see too much of him these days. I mean, he keeps his uh, head down, as it were, because you know, he's had to step back from the royal family. There is absolutely no way back for him. I think that that's been made pretty clear. And uh, the, the only pictures we do see of him, seemingly, are in Windsor driving his car around. And, uh, you know, there, there are unfortunate frames of him sort of laughing and cackling that get brought up whenever there's a story about Prince Andrew. But in this incident, this, is this, poor, this poor lady didn't really know what was going on until the big Range Rover was behind her, but it, it gave us all a laugh, I suppose. Yeah, it certainly did, and probably some better photos of uh, Prince Andrew for once uh, in recent years. Russell Myers, lovely to speak with you. Thank you so much for joining us on the show tonight. Thanks very much. My pleasure.